Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. And in the last episode, guys, we were actually able to visit um, Hobbs Barrow for the very first time. And we have a lot more questions than answers. Um, we were able to take a look at the mound, had to head back because it was starting to get dark. And at night, we had a very vivid vision of a goblin creature hanging outside the barrow with a message pertaining to Thomasina's father. So um, not only that, when Thomasina woke up, she found a strange journal filled with all kinds of like messages and scribblings like underneath her door. And according to Stanley here, no one's been here to actually drop off the journal. So uh, yeah, lots of intrigue is starting to kick up, which is great. We're going to see if we can ask Stanley any questions. But before we do that, let's see if we can use the chisel. And hopefully this will be okay with Stanley to get the knife out. I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's table any further than it already has been. Well, boo. Okay. That was worth a shot. Um. So do we have anything? Nope. These are our supplies. Who is Miss Tompkins? A housemaid in the employ of Panswick Manor. She comes by to pick up his lordship's weekly paper. I'm surprised newspapers are available in Bewley. Aye, his lordship gets what he wants. Lord Panswick likes to keep up with affairs from outside of Bewley. Aye, he has many interests around the country. What sort of interests? His lordship's affairs are his own business. Goodbye. See you soon. That was pretty much what I expected. All right. Well... Right. I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from. Curses! I forgot I had this worm in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. Ah, oh, rip Kenneth. Oh, it's market day. She is busy setting up her stall. Good day. I'm still setting up my stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. Are any of the businesses open now? Or is it just like literally one stall? I don't think anyone is home. I like the uh, light fog in the morning. Hmm. No one here. Father Roach is standing over there by the blacksmiths. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let's head this way, though. Mr. Long mustn't be in. I've already taken my crate. Just want to see if there was anything in there. Let's see if we could say hello to the good father. Father Roach still looks rather pallid. Good morning, Father Roach. Ah, Miss Bateman. What a pleasure to see you again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Thank you, Father Roach, but I have quite a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Edmund's, should you wish to join us later. Do you recognize this journal? Hmm, what a tatty old thing. You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm. I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Did you make it yourself? No, never mind. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this horseshoe for something. 
a finely made horseshoe, the blacksmith must also be a farrier. The horseshoe is nailed firmly to the wall. Hmm. No, that won't work. Yeah, worth a shot. The blacksmith looks closed. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. So, a St. Edmund's? I guess we can head that way. It's locked. None of the congregation has arrived yet. We also want to try and figure out the uh, the initials that we saw at the borrow. I may be a barrow digger, but I'm no grave robber. Just wanted to check. Ah, yes, we said that we would sit here on Margaret's bench. Margaret's lookout. Dedicated to Arthur's mother. A moment of reflection. Achievement unlocked. With the mist and everything, I could see why this would be, like, really hypnotic and soothing. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Rest. Oh, goodness, we can actually head out this way. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. Well, I want to question the people. It, it, this oh. young fellow looks miserable. Hello, Wally. Go away! You gave the door back to my sister. It wasn't very nice of you to bury her favorite toy, Wally. I gave it to the fair folk, and you stole it back from them. You don't really believe in fairies, do you? You're old enough to know better. They're real, and thanks to you, I'm cursed. There's no such thing as curses either, Wally. Go away. So angry. Do we want to get a new worm? One that's alive? I shall name you Kenneth the Second. Interesting. Whoa. And Wally just disappeared. Mm hmm Also, it's kind of morbid. I don't know if you guys noticed this. The rope, I think, that his brother used to hang himself is still actually tied up on this branch. Hello? Is anyone home? Mr. Bryden doesn't seem to be here right now. I should come back a bit later. Jeez, everyone's out and about. Which is interesting considering the fact that no one's here. Oh, let's go ahead and check that area that was blocked off by the, uh... Oh. Thomasina! Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we did. Aye. My head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. 
Now Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. I had a splendid time last night. I, I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. The feeling is mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. I wonder who left me this journal then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. Is he going to react badly? The writings of a madman. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. Uh-oh. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. Who are they? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulet, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Interesting. And we have someone new. Hello, dear. Good day. He's a little more handsome than your average Bewley resident. I believe we've met. Miss Thomasina Bateman, the famous antiquarian. My reputation precedes me. I can assure you it does. And you are? James. Hmm. Are you a painter? You see this beck before you. Look at the water. See how it tumbles and falls. I seek one spot on which my eyes can rest. Be it a stone or a small corner of the current, I meet it with my gaze. And out of the tumbling and falling, a new land rises. I see a new world. You certainly have the eloquence of an artist. What are you painting? A new world. Quite the ambition. Indeed. My ambition knows no bounds. Can I see it? Not yet. It's not finished. Such a world is not complete without you in it. You flatter me, James. Nonsense. Say you'll let me paint you. Oh, Lord. Um... I haven't even seen your work. What if you can't paint? Don't fret, my dear. You shall be the shining star of my new world. When the time comes, I shall call on thee. Okay, that went from charming to creepy in, like, an instant. Do you recognize this journal? A place to keep one's thoughts and reflect. Is it yours? No, my dear. What do you make of this stone? It looks antique. You might want to keep a hold of it. Do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I'd like to know more about you, Thomasina. What time do you like to rise in the morning? 
How do you like your tea? What makes you happy? Oh, yeah. We, we've been pretty honest with everyone. I think with this time we're going to... Late, with three spoons of sugar and spending time with my husband. You disappoint me. I sense no truth in your words. Are you a woman of dubious principles, Thomasina? You ask too many questions. Do you know Leonard Shoulder? A man of Bewley? Yes. I care not for the men of Bewley. Only for the visitors. What do you know of Lord Panswick? A fine gentleman. Now that is someone who commands respect. Do you know him personally? No, I, I don't think anyone can really claim that. But what a tiring subject. Shall we discuss something a little more exciting? Goodbye. See you soon, my dear. I.e. no. Okay, now we're meeting some new folks. Hello, Arthur. I met a man named James up at the back. Do you know him? James? I don't think so. His manner of speaking, it doesn't sound like he is from around here. Oh, I. Maybe he is just passing through. Goodbye. Tara. Okay, well now, before we head into the woods to find the supposed witch, you figure that uh, Father Roach would know everyone. And Father Roach is gone. Wait a minute. Is the cart set up? No. Let's go ahead and ask Stanley. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Never mind. Also, let's check our, our alleyway. Everything... Oh! Kitty! It, it's Herbert, the local stray. I don't wish to wake him up. You sure? I don't wish to wake him up. Not even with Kenneth the second? Nobody home. So now we're stranded here for a day or two. Probably longer. And that's very... Very much like Ensmith. The road Ensmith. disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. It's like, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can talk to Father Roach and then we'll head into the And no one there. It's locked. All right. Head down real quick. Just want to check the station. Being overly cautious. Attention, Bewley Station is closed for the time being due to track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. We apologize for any inconvenience caused, the Midland Railway. Hello? All right. Well, Arthur was telling us the truth. I didn't think he was lying, but... Oh, and Arthur's gone. Thomasina, dear! Come say goodbye to your father! Uh-oh. Is this before you headed off into the to the borough? I don't want to. 
Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time, but we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, if that was her last words to him. That sucks. Okay. Mm-hmm. I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. And look at this. The pathway is clear. Resin has been oozing from the stump. It looks set now. The resin has set somewhat. It's firmly gripped to the stump. Alrighty. I've collected some waxy resin. I just heard a bear. Growl. That's not good. I've collected this lump of waxy resin. Uh-huh. It's the old woman I saw at Bewley Station. Oh, yeah. They look somewhat like juniper berries. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. I recognised you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. You knew my father? Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man, William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh, yes. A long time ago, mind. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. But I'll never forget those eyes. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more info here. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bride and excavate Hobbs Barrow. Knew it. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Ernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother were with child. And she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? Wow. Take a look at this. Oh, I don't know if that's a good... Okay, well, we a did A passage it. recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This... this is incredible. You don't recognise your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I-A-W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket, or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding magic? He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? 
Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again, but I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. It's one of those uh, desperate times calls for desperate measures. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. Yeah, there was a third man. Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third man involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. You'll have to ask him yourself. I'm afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You said that the flora here could cure almost any ill. Almost, my dear. But your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. We'll ask about the goblin last. Can you tell me anything about Leonard's shoulder? I know of him, as is the nature of such a small town. I also know he invited you here. Little escapes you, Miss Walker. So they say. My path rarely crosses with his. Let's put it that way. But he's a nice enough fellow. I see. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his labourers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him. Now more. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. Thank you for your help, Ms. Walker. And right back at the task at hand. What are those berries you're picking? An ancient breed. No good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. So she's like an herbalist healer. I shouldn't enter uninvited. Yeah, that's probably bad. Okay, um, is there anything that we need to show her? Would you like to talk to Kenneth? I don't think anyone really wants to see my worm. <coughs> Miss Bay. Oh. Yes. Remember what I told you when we first met? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barrow. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barrow. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. There is something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. One cannot abandon reason. Phew. Thomasina? Thomasina, come here this instant. I'm playing with Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. Hmm. Okay. I'll be back soon, Josephine. What is it, Mummy? It's... it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone, is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had... an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Silly Daddy. Will he be all right? Of course. Of course he will be fine. Your father is as strong as an ox. But I need to go collect him, all right? Can't I come too? No, dear. Miss Bowes will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside, all right? Yes, Mummy.
Josephine, it's time to go inside now. Josephine's like, I don't want to. Where did Mommy go? With the distraction. All right. Well, the uh, we knew it had to. There was we we knew in the last episode kind of got that impression that Thomasina's father was involved in the excavation, but now we've got confirmation. So we're going to start the next episode kind of going over this journal uh, one more time. And then uh, we got to have some chats with some people and figure out what's going on and who the third man is. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.